Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Droodles Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be playing in my least favorite tier 10. And I have scrolled through a lot of tier 10s, and I've tried to think of what tier 10 do I least want to play when I go into the battlefield. And honestly, I think it has to be the 114 SP2. The 114, when it was first released, was pretty alright. And the problem is, Wargaming reworked how the armor mechanics are in this game. They basically mega-nerfed armor. Because, especially on a vehicle like this, which really relies on the turret armor, well, Wargaming basically took that away when they buffed every vehicle's heat penetration. The 5A, for example, now has 340 mils of heat, and that is the worst heat pen heavy in Tier 10. And because of that, it basically means that any heat shells fired at this tank, even from the majority of mediums, cut through the turret. When you pair that with the fact that this vehicle features one of the most inaccurate guns in Tier 10, uh, it's just a really bad recipe and creates quite the unenjoyable engagement. The only thing that I can say I like about the 114 is that it features a pretty decent gun in terms of damage, but... Just everything else sucks, so that's, uh, that's, that's the problem with this tank. Like, I like the damage per shot. I like the profile, too. Wargaming simply needs to give it a bit more accurate of a gun, and they need to give it more armor. Those are the only two things that need to occur, and it will be quite a solid tank. But as of now, it does not have either of those values, and because of that, it's, uh, it's in the kind of L category. Well... Leave the uh, Progetto off to the side. And what I'm hoping is that I can make my way over here very briefly. There you go. You can see even with that shot, it was quite a bit off from where we were expecting it to go in the Progetto. Our uh, Yo is getting some good bleeds out into the enemy Progetto. And what I'm thinking at this point is probably to make my way over here. And we'll see if my team gets some spots out. I'm just going to poke this. We'll see. Come on, we got the XM, we got the uh, Caro. There you go, nice little juicer into the Caro. Bro just got freaking clapped. That guy was full health, and now he's dead. So, <laughs> that did not go well for you, Wrench. Actually, I know Wrench, he's a, he's a subscriber. <laughs> well, that's even more unfortunate, I guess, right? Uh, we probably are spotted. I, I would hope that our team, the problem is I'm kind of stuck here. As I said, I'm really hoping that our team gives us some detections, but... Uh, Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the 114, ladies and gents. That's the gun for you. That shell missed by literally a quarter mile. Wow. Yeah, when this gun decides to not work, it really does not work. I don't know where the enemy uh, TDs are. Like, I know where the XM is, but I do not know where the Fosh or the 704 is. But I know that they are somewhere overlooking our team. Which is not great for me. Oh, we are spotted again. That sucks. I mean... Ah, there's the 704. Okay, well, I can't hit him at all from here. No. Literally nothing I can do to him. And we see the Fosh as well. Huh. Well, I'm gonna put my adrenaline on. We're actually just gonna aim it on the Fosh really quickly. I don't care if the 704 shoots me. Hitting that Fosh is much more important, and there you go. What was a full health Fosh is now 530 HP. That's pretty important. We're still alive. And, uh, we're doing pretty good. XM doesn't know how to play the game, apparently. Dude is literally boxing himself in. Bonk. What a bad roll. 480, bruh. That's the worst roll I've seen in a while. I mean, we're doing alright, actually. As much as I want to hate on this tank's gun, it's doing pretty fine so far to be completely real we have the 704 in the back we're gonna aim it on the 704 and oh my god now there it is there there's the 114 gun it's just it's awful like it really is as i said if the gun worked the tank would be not the worst experience ever but the problem is the gun doesn't work like that was a pretty easy shot and it just dunks right into the dirt without even second thought but it hits hard, so, like, you can't fully hate on the tank when you do have the ability to chunk 600 health off of somebody. The problem is that you only get so many chances to do that, and the armor really isn't that good, so... It's a 50-50 whether you're gonna get that chunk out or not. 
half of the games you play. But rather surprisingly, we did over 3,400 damage this battle. We didn't bleed any health. I mean, the, the enemy team was pretty bad, and we were able to put ourselves in a position where we weren't bleeding health, and we were able to get out some damage. So, not that bad of a result. But let's be honest, 60 TP would have done the exact same situation there, and the 60 TP is just... Now that Wargaming buffed the alpha on the 60, and it has Tungsten plus 630, just kind of makes you question why you would drive this tank when the 60 exists. When I made my video on this tank when it first came out, this tank had more alpha damage and pen than the 60. But after the Kali changes, and the fact that... I mean, this still does have more pen, but the Kali changes gave the 60 more penetration, which is nice. And not only that, but uh, the armor on the 60 just got the same, because the armor on the 60 is really not relevant to how thick it is it's just very well angled and the turrets like impervious as it is so in just general it really doesn't matter you know and this tank just kind of got nerfed so the 60 is definitely quite a bit ahead of this vehicle the only thing as i said i like about this tank is that it hits really hard and like when the gun works it it does actually do a decent job all right let's see we got the 50b the WZ really doesn't scare me, to be honest, because I am a heavy after all. Not only am I a heavy, but I obviously deal a lot more damage per shot than the WZ. There you go. 620 damage shell into the WZ. Pretty good. I don't know where the Hotry is. I don't know where a lot of the enemy uh, vehicles are, which is something that I'm going to keep in mind. Okay. WZ shoots. And with that in mind, I'm going to push over here. I'm going to aim it on the WZ lower plate. That, that right there is why this tank sucks right there. How do you miss that game? Oh my God. Yeah. Like if the gun didn't do that, I wouldn't get mad, but we literally lost out 600 freaking damage because the game said, no, you're not allowed to do anything there. No. Like, okay. All right, well, we got the 50B. We get a nice shell into the 50B once. 660 brings him down to a one-shot. And he's not really able to do anything to me. CS63 is a threat, but not one that I'm worried about. T100 LT is pushing in, and I'm going to let the T100 pick up that clear. So while that's going on, I am going to make my way up here and see if we can get some damage into the Hori. Looks like the Hori just shot. I don't really care about the IS-7, but, uh, yeah, you know what, I'll shoot the IS-7, why not? There you go. 626, bro. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna reload. I'm sorry, IS-7, as much as I want to attack, there's really no reason for me to just, like, YOLO out in the open, especially when our team is winning this quite easily. Alright, now that we have the IS-7, we're gonna get a nice little juicer into his side. There you go. Pretty good stuff. We have a 62A on the rear, and we have a CS-63 on the rear. Okay. We have a damaged rack, which kind of sucks, but nothing that I really need to worry too much about. 62A, bonk, there you go, nice 656 shell. I mean, again, the gun on this tank, I do like the alpha. Like, just being able to chunk somebody for 600 it does feel quite good, and that's exactly what this tank is really good at doing. I mean, there you go, another 620. We've brought what was a full health player down to uh, really no health at this point. Then we have the CS-63 over here, who we're obviously going to push. So we're going to see if we can get some damage into the CS. There you go. Nice 655. And we're going to win. I mean, we're actually going to do quite well here. So, I don't know. Like, when I hate on this tank, I actually do surprisingly well in it. But at the same time, it's definitely not something I would consider to be a super strong tier 10. I don't think any of the tier 10s are actually awful in the game right now. If you watch my tier list, you can do well in a lot of them. This is just my least enjoyable tank to drive because the gun misses shots. I mean, you saw we had the clearest shot you've ever seen in your life on the lower plate of that 113 GFT, and it missed. And if that was a life or death situation and I needed to pen that shot to win the game, I would have lost due to RNG simply screwing me. And when you can drive an E100, which only goes too slower, but has much more alpha and other capabilities, or a 60 TP, in general, that's the problem, is you have better options that don't suffer from the inaccuracies of this gun. 
I do fine in the tank. I've got a solid win rate of 76%, but my average damage is definitely a bit lower than I would like it to be compared to my other tier 10s. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about the 114. The good news is this is a vehicle that's incredibly rare and really was only sold for a ridiculous amount of money. So don't feel too bad if you don't have it because it really doesn't matter. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.